Well, the wait is over. Joe Biden picks his former rival, Senator Kamala Harris, to be his running mate. WGN's Gaynor Hall joins us with details on that. Yeah, Again. Taman and Micah, it is an historic pick as Kamala Harris becomes the first woman of color on a major party presidential ticket. I stand before you today to announce my candidacy for President of the United States. It's official, presumptive Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden picks his former rival, California Senator Kamala Harris, to be his running mate. Illinois Senator Dick Durbin has served with her on the Senate Judiciary Committee. Great choice. I think she was the favorite in the field uh, from the start. Uh, and I think she's going to be a powerful force in this campaign and, and in the country. Highland Park Mayor Nancy Rotering served on Harris's Illinois leadership team before Harris dropped out of the presidential race. She understands what we need now as a nation in terms of recovering from this pandemic, addressing racial injustice and the very real need for stable, impactful leadership. Um, she brings the experience. She's sort of the full package. So I'm just thrilled that this is our candidate. Considered a rising star in the Democratic Party, Harris was elected California Attorney General in 2010. In 2016, she was elected to the U.S. Senate. During her presidential run, she got a boost after this memorable exchange with Biden on the debate stage. Do you agree today? that you were wrong to oppose busing in America. But her record as a prosecutor became a target for some on the left. Tonight, President Trump said she was his number one pick for Biden because she performed poorly in the primaries. She was probably nastier than even Pocahontas to Joe Biden. She was very disrespectful. Is anyone surprised when this president goes overboard being critical of someone running against him? or going overboard and criticizing Democrats, particularly assertive women. Harris tweeted that she is honored to join Joe Biden and do what it takes to make him the commander in chief. They'll deliver remarks together tomorrow in Delaware and lots of reaction to this tonight. President Obama saying in a statement that Biden nailed this decision. Tomorrow, right. Micah. Thanks for